What's up hotties? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Leslie, also known as the Hot Mommy, and today it's time for a styling session. We're going to attack one of the trendiest items of the season, the Adidas Sambas. I would hate for you to be out here not looking your best, so if you've been wondering how to make those shoes work in your closet, stay tuned. This video is just for you. What's up, how you? It's good to be with you again. Happy Friday. Today we are back for another hot styling session. The one thing about getting dressed is that you do want to make sure that you're on trend without being trendy. I know that sounds a little bit crazy, but hear me out. Right now, what's trending the most in shoes? <laughs> Adidas. Whether they're Sambas or Gazelles, everyone needs a pair in their closet. But what I'm going to teach you is how to make sure that that trending item fits into what your style already is. So often people get caught up in trying to keep up with the trends and then they realize they have a closet full of things that they actually don't like to wear. And that's why it's important, not necessarily to dress for every trend that comes out, but to pick and choose what you like and see how it works with what you're already doing. As a reformed tomboy, obviously y'all know that sneakers are my jam. I love a tennis shoe, but that doesn't always mean that every tennis shoe is going to work with my style now. What you see now is an outfit that I would consider pretty classic, definitely feminine, but we're, we styled it with our Adidas Sambas. This is my black and white pair. I love this because I think that people automatically like lean toward getting a white pair of tennis shoes and sometimes we run from black tennis shoes. <laughs> Do not walk out of here with any black Air Force Ones, any black shoes because they don't feel like it's robin season and you're coming to get them. However, I don't necessarily think that's true for the Adidas Sambas, mainly because it's still like a low cut, slim, slender shoe that paired with the right outfit can really look dainty. Which is why I think when you're rocking tennis shoes, the idea is to add a little bit of funk to your outfit. What you see me in right now is a very classic sort of long line dress. It's a Zara number, it buttons all the way down, gold. I've actually bought this in the springtime, but the way that I make these things work in different seasons is by layering. I love to add a turtleneck or another long sleeve shirt. My favorite runs are from Uniqlo because that heat tech, baby, it keeps you warm. And let me tell you, Los Angeles is frigid at the moment, <laughs> okay? But I paired that with my Adidas Sambas because it's something that I think is like giving a little bit of edge to the outfit, not making the dress that can already look maybe a little prim and kind of proper feel so stiff. So this is the look that I chose to go with and I'm going to put in some accessories so you guys can see the full thing. Adding these slight feminine touches to your look can definitely make sure that the outfit still feels pulled together without looking young. I think sometimes when people think about pairing tennis shoes with their looks, they're often like, but I don't want to look like a kid. As somebody who's almost 39 years old, I completely understand. What's funny is my teenage daughter and I both have a pair of these shoes, but we would each style them very differently. I'm by no means a Gen Z and she is definitely not a millennial, but yet we're both on trend and in season. Okay, hotties, we're back with look number two. So I decided to pair the ever sought after super hot Wells Bonner Sambas. I was able to get mine in the cream and the pony hair with like the burgundy accents. I love, I'm not gonna hold you. I said no to the leopard, but now I'm like, your girl, I'm, I'm gonna have to get them. Because even when I just put this outfit on, I was like, these go, but wavy. That leopard will set it off, so I will be getting them. <laughs> um, but I'm pairing these with like a pair of sort of mid to high rise uh, vegan leather pants, the trousers that I got from Aritzia with a cropped denim look, uh, with a cropped denim shirt that I got from Zara and my Celine baseball cap. I love to throw my baseball cap on with so many things, especially as a short hair girly. You know that when you have a pixie, sometimes it's like, you just need to put on a hat because it's not really laying how you want it to lay. But baseball caps on short hair girls, it's so cute to me. So I paired the look along with my Celine Triumph bag. Again, I love this purse. It is beautiful. I don't use her enough. And so this year I'm vowing 
to really like use my clothes and use my purses. You want to think about balance when you put on clothes. If you have on like a high waisted pant, you can put on a crop top. If you totally covered up, then you start to just look like bunchy and pushed together and you don't want to do that. Even a little sliver of skin, just a little hint of something is going to break up your outfit and give you a little bit of interest when you're getting dressed. I went ahead and cuffed these pants on the bottom because you want to be mindful about how your pants break over your shoes. When you go to a tailor and you talk about like getting your pants hemmed, what you really want to talk about is the break, right? And that just means where your pant falls at your shoe. So some people are comfortable with their pants falling right above with the break being above. Some are okay with the break being right on the shoe. I'm short. So that means most pants are going to be very long for me. If these pants were uncuffed, the break would cause the pants to bunch at the bottom and it would look odd. That's an easy, simple solve. If you don't have time to run to a tailor or you just don't really want to cut all your pants, a cuff will take you a long way. So this is the look with these Wells Bonner Adidas. And let me tell you, I love it. In fact, I think I'm about to wear this out today. <laughs> Okay, Heidi's, here we are with look number three. Now I'm going to show you how to style a pair of gazelles. Now, sometimes it's a little bit hard to denote the differences between sambas and gazelles right off the bat. But number one, usually like the gum bottom is a little bit different. Also, the um, cut on the top where the tongue is at is a little different. These shoes are more, a little bit more narrow than the sambas. The sambas, although they're like feminine and still have a slender shape. These have a tongue that like cuts down on the top of your foot. It definitely doesn't like come up all the way in the same ways that the Samba does. But there are very like minute differences. Um, I prefer the Sambas to the Gazelles. I find that the tongue kind of like um, just like cuts a little bit on the top of my foot differently than the Sambas does and it can kind of make them a little uncomfortable unless you're really really going to wear them in. So I don't wear these as often as I'd like but I still do think that the color is beautiful and I also think that it's a super cute shoe. So I styled these with a pair of trousers and as you can see we were just talking about breaks in your pants. This break hits right on the shoe so I don't have to worry about cuffing it. Also let me just give a shout out to Poppy Lush. If you are not on Poppy Lush you got to get with it. One of my best friends was like ranting. I shouldn't even say ranting. She was raving about how amazing, you know, these body suits were. And I was like, girl, are they really? She was like, no, seriously, I love them. And so I went ahead and bought one for homecoming last year. I have since bought like four more pieces. So I own three body suits, a jumpsuit. Poppy Lush is that girl. It basically is like built in um, shapewear into wearable items. You don't have to even wear a bra. And let me tell you, okay, as a girl that is gifted and blessed and busty, it is never my ministry to not wear a bra. But you could do it. It's crazy. Nonetheless, shout out to Poppy Lush. I love you. But this is like a simply styled outfit. Something that I feel, again, is like just feminine enough. You know, we've got a little bit of skin showing, but... You know, we're covered up. We look good. It's classic. This is also an event that could carry you like someplace if you're going out to a bar, if you're hanging with friends, if you're going to chill in the backyard. It's just a look that's really versatile. And I'm going to show you which accessories I will put with this so that you can see the full look put together. If you follow me, you know that I'm an Eliza Johnson stan. I love her glasses, especially the Jane shape. For Christmas, I got the Jane Mini. So this is now my third pair of Jane. I have blue, I have brown, and I now have this black pair. They are so cute. I think they go with everything. And to me, it's just like an excellent sunglass to have. It's also fairly affordable. It's not super overpriced, but you still get like the designer and luxe feel in this glasses. I love them. If you were in the market, get you a pair of Eliza Johnson's. They're lit. This is also one of my favorite Gucci's. So I love this pair together. And again, we talked about black and brown. To me, it's a color combination that always wins if you do it right. And this pop of color with the Adidas only makes it shine even more. It's like still neutral, but you know, that dark sort of palette looks great. And I think that this is a look that could carry anybody. So 
this is probably my favorite look of all of the looks that I'm going to show you today. First of all, I am the biggest fan of layering and this dress is perfect because it's built in layering. So it essentially is like giving you the sweater over a long oversized button down look, which y'all know if you've been here long enough or follow me on Instagram, you know it's one of my favorite things. I love an oversized button down. So this shirt dress is so cute, uber warm. You really could also throw on some tights. And I thought that it would be the perfect look for my Wells Bonners because you know what I mean? It gives a little bit of that like European chic, you know, that people are always like, here's how you dress like a Parisian. I often think that that information is whatever. You can either take it or leave it. But this look for me just screams like city girl, super fresh. I love the mix of unexpected color too. Like the bright pop of this beanie, scully, you know, that I just, again, think hats on short pixie cuts look amazing. And then paired with the burgundy and the cream in this shoe, it really matches very well. I think it's an unexpected color combination that most people probably wouldn't lean toward. But I think that when you kind of have those unexpected expected colors it gives you a little bit of edginess that people are not looking for which tends to kind of be received as instant style I'm going to show you some of the accessories and then you can see how the full look comes together so to complete the look I paired this with my Goyard pouch this is really like supposed to be a toiletry pouch but I love it as a clutch because it just has so much room as you can see I'm pulling in like the burgundy and the cream kind of with this look but you know it's not super overt but if you peep you peep these are also some Gucci frames that I love um, these are the flip up glasses some of my favorites uh, I still want to get like the square pair I'm in search of those so that's like one of those must have items on my list uh, but yeah, this is the full look together. This is something that I would definitely like wear in the spring, um, out on a girl's night, on a date with my husband, you know, or even just out during the day. It is the best look. Love it. Okay, y'all, we are back to the original first pair of Sambas, and I decided to go full 90s for this look. I know that I'm pairing this with the much, like, talked about skirt, because some people like me who grew up very churchy, okay, are used to seeing this skirt look much different. This is what I like to call my Pentecostal uh, church skirt, my mother deaconess skirt, but we gonna turn it up, okay? Because I honestly think that the ankle lace denim skirt, if done right, can be very cute. And so I decided to just go full 90s into the look. Sometimes you just really have to lean in. As I told you guys, I love an oversized button down. And so you can either like wear an oversized button down to its full length, you can tuck it. What I've done here with this look is really do like sort of a half tuck. So this is tucked in the back. This is like my Balenciaga um, plaid. This is something I picked up a while ago. One of my favorites that I like to go to. But I feel like it gives still a little bit of balance to the outfit and also still gives some shape without you looking like you're just swimming in your clothes. Because obviously we know when we're super duper covered up, it can kind of make you feel like nobody can see you. But you can still be seen and still look bomb and still look sexy even if, you know, you only got a little bit of thigh and ankle showing. But I think that it's a perfect look to go with these Adidas because, again, the black and the white, it's just like a classic sort of pairing. Comes together really well. Again, the slenderness of the shoe makes it so that the skirt really does, like, kind of have a tailored look. Whereas if you wore it with a more chunky sneaker, I think that it could kind of look odd against the shoe. I've tried it a couple times and I'm like, mm, that doesn't really go. So normally I either wear this with super long boots, but wearing it with the Adidas Samba is actually a great look. Let me grab a bag so I can show you how I would do it. You see I had to change the lip on y'all so you could see the full 90s girl scope. It's giving SWV escape. You know what I mean? You you see what I'm doing. So for this, I just paired it with my mini city bag. Again, this is the bag that always keeps on giving. She's like Mary Poppins. No matter how much I stuff in here, it seems like I always have enough room. But I feel like it's the perfect sort of like grungy look. We're doing all silvered out. This is just bomb. 
you could wear it you know to lunch you could wear it running errands and you're still comfortable but still chic that's the best thing about the adidas sambas i think is that they still make your outfit look chic even though it's a tennis shoe and that's why it's able to be paired with like classic items like button downs or skirts or long maxi dresses or even short dresses you know what i mean with shorts or different pairs of things because it's really such like a shoe that goes with so much stuff. in the meantime let's get it get it going we don't need no one say so take it on Okay, y'all, for the final look, as you can see, once you learn your style, you really start to get a mix and a match of, like, all the same kind of things. But that's not bad. It's okay to have a uniform because it helps you get dressed. You know what you look good in. You know how you like to feel. And you know how you want to present yourself. And as I told you, I love, like, a cropped wide leg pant. I love an oversized shirt. I've layered this with just, like, a mini tank that I got at Zara. This look actually came, or this shirt rather, actually came in a set. So I have like a pair of gray trousers that also go with this. But this is something that I would really wear to like go work in a coffee shop, to get content done, to run around, get errands finished. And I think that it goes great with these gazelles because again, we're throwing in like a pop of color without being too overt. Also, you know, I kept on this pop of color on my lip with the red, but the red and the green doesn't instantly read holiday because it's broken up by these neutral colors of gray and the white. I think that wearing, you know, like this slender sort of shoe with the horseshoe looking pant or with the like wide leg kind of um, balloon carrot pant as they call it, I think it's really great and complements the shoe so well because the wideness next to the slenderness of the shoe looks great. I'm going to throw on a little accessory so that you can see what the full look looks like. Now, while I'm not normally a matchy matchy girl, I just thought that these cute little free people green shades pulled in kind of like the forest green and the gazelles and I thought it went perfectly. As I said, this is probably a look that I would wear to go work at a coffee shop. So I pulled out my somewhere bag from DC. You know, DC is my second home. Um, and to me, the look is like easy it's breezy you know this is something that if you were skewing a little bit younger that you can wear to school this is something that you know you can throw on and wear to work this is also to me something that you could put on if you are working from home but you still want to get dressed so these are the perfect looks i think to go with your gazelles and to me you're ready it's worth the seed in the stars I'm gonna do it, keep you warm next to me. Ooh, baby. Okay, Hotties, that's a wrap for me. We were able to style six different looks with three pairs of Adidas. And now, if you are going out to get yourself a pair of Sambas or Gazelles, you'll definitely be prepared on how to style them. If you love everything in this video today, be sure to subscribe and leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit me with a thumbs up and definitely share this video to add more hotties to the squad. I can't wait to see you next week. Thanks as always for being here. See you later. Bye.